Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Me Unit Comics here. I'm M. And unfortunately, my partner in crime, E. Eden, is uh, she's not here. She is at work, working away um, right now. She will be back the next time. She's sorry she couldn't be here. Um, hopefully, um, yeah, I would say the next video for sure, um, she'll be back. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get right back into the the tag team and stuff, and you know, open stuff together. I know you guys love seeing both of us, and honestly, uh, I I much rather do this with her here. But um, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of something while uh, while she's while she's gone, and um, it's not an unboxing day. It's a little bit different. You guys will see by the title. Uh, I just want to go through some recent stuff because I've picked up some stuff that um, uh, haven't you guys haven't seen. Um, a couple things. Uh, it's also going to be CGC stuff that I've, I've picked up. CG, well, CGC, CBCS, slab stuff, we'll say, that I've picked up recently. Um, the majority have been from um, within the last... It's been, this, is, this is going back months, so like the last few months um, uh, with, um, with whatnot. Um, going back quite a ways to when I first started it, actually. these Some, some of these are really... I've gotten uh, quite a while ago, and I just haven't showed you guys because uh, when it comes to mystery box and what we do on the channel, I try to, uh, especially with whatnot, because generally most of them will open up right on the uh, the stream that they're doing. So um, I'll only open a mystery box if I can't remember exactly what's in it, because I I want that genuine surprise for uh, both Eden and I, so that you guys get the the genuine reaction from us. Um, uh, when we uh, don't know what's in there, if I can remember what's in there and I know what it is, generally I'll just uh, I'll open it up up here and uh, kind of set it aside. So um, yeah, we're gonna jump right into it. Um, the first couple things I want to go through though are actually uh, not wins. These are actually a couple books that I submitted to CGC um, probably a year ago, and I finally got a couple of them back. I submitted a, a group of five with through one of my local comic shops here um, in my area. And finally got two of them back. Still waiting on the other three, but uh, that's okay. Um, not a big deal. So the first book up was a little disappointing. I was expecting it a little bit higher. Not even a little bit higher. Like a decent amount higher. But um, it's a cool book nonetheless. But here it is. So we got Daredevil, number 254. Um, this is the first appearance of Typhoid Mary. Um, it's in a 9.2. So I was actually hoping for a little... I, I let, like I said, not a little bit, but a decent amount higher. I was hoping for at least like a 9.6 around there. I thought this was a really, really nice copy. Um, and looking at it, I'm not sure exactly what would have caused it to uh, to only get a 9.2. A nine um, it's a little bit of a corner ding there maybe, but even then, 9.2 seemed really low. Especially for this book, like it's a more of a modern style book, so it's not a super expensive book, especially in that grade. Like if you if you get that book graded, um, you definitely want it to come back a bit of a higher grade there. So a little disappointed with that one, uh, but that's okay. Still cool. Go, gonna go in the it's part of the Daredevil collection, so obviously it'll it's gonna stay with me. Um, the reason I submitted it is because, of, like I said, I thought it was gonna be a little bit higher than that, um, more in like the nine. 9.6 range. I, I even thought it had a shot at a 9.8, but um, I, uh, I guess not. But um, this next one is another the other book that I got back that I submitted. This one was kind of the opposite. I was expecting a little bit lower, um, maybe even like the 8.5 uh, range around there, but it actually came back. So let's show it to you first. There it is. So we have a Marvel Team Up number 141. Uh, and a 9.2. It's a newsstand, which is kind of cool to get a high-grade newsstand like that. So this came back a little bit higher than I was ex actually expecting. Um, obviously, this ties kind of as the first appearance of the black costume for anyone that uh, was unaware there. But um, white pages on both of these last books. So that is also good. But I was um, pleasantly surprised with this one. Um, really nice shape, especially for that newsstand. Uh, I think we did really, really well. Um, this book actually got raw from Mystery Box a few years ago, um, and I had it since. And I decided, you know, it looks pretty nice. Let's take a let's take a chance on it. So that worked out kind of good. Um, yeah, so those are two that I got back um, from from CGC um, to my comic shop. So waiting on the other three. Once we get those, we'll uh, we'll show those to you guys. I won't tell you what they are. We'll uh, we'll get be surprised together. So first up, there's quite a few books here, so I'm gonna try to go through them pretty quickly. But first up. 
uh, recently, uh, last within the last little while, scored this one. This was a mystery, a mystery grab bag win, whatever you want to call it. So this is Flash number one ninety seven. The 9.4, it's the first appearance of Zoom. First appearance and origin of Zoom. So, pretty cool cover there. Obviously, he's uh, uh, on the cover, um, so it's great. It's great to learn about um, on that character, and uh, great to have his first appearance. Not like a, a ginormous Flash fan, I, I wouldn't say, but um, hey, I'm not going to argue with a cool first appearance there. So, there's that one. Um... And we'll, uh, I'll put some prices down below just so you kind of see where, where things are at in the market right now um, and just kind of kind of go from there. Like I said, these are all just things I basically got lucky on. Um, next up, this was a cool one to, uh, to snag. You guys can see that. That's that Moon Knight number one from uh, 2006. Um, the, uh, that run there, that's, um, Huston, Charlie Huston did. And a 9.8. So this was an awesome get too. This is, was a, um... I won in, in a draw as well over the last uh, little while here. So this was a um, grand prize draw. It wasn't like a big giant one, but uh, still a cool book to, to snag there. Um, especially, obviously, it was good timing. The, the Moon Knight show just uh, finished up showing there. So um, this book was actually a uh, just a straight-up purchase. Another more Daredevil there, guys. So Daredevil number 179. Um, nice little Electra book there and a one and a 9.2. So I picked this up, um, from actually, um, I think it was from Koala Comics. Um, obviously you open their mystery boxes lots here. So snagged that from them, not in the mystery box or anything like that, but it was just on their, uh, their website and there was a, just a really good deal for a slabbed, uh, Daredevil. I do have this book raw, but, um, it was a really good deal. Couldn't pass it up. So I think I paid like. I want to say like thirty or forty dollars for that, so uh, not not too bad of a, a snag there. This next one was also a uh, just a purchase that I um, that I made because it was just a good deal. Not that I'm a super the book. I think I got this from Scotty Sid. I think I got this from you, if I remember right, um, a while back there. But boom, there it is. House of Slaughter number one. Um, this is the foil edition and a 9.8. Um, you kind of see the sorry, a lot of glare there, guys, with the foil and the and the backer board, or not the backer board, the foil and the um, the glare as well there. So, um, so that was kind of a cool book to get. Um, uh, been digging the something that's killing the children. they just reading through the trade there and uh, and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. Um, next up, some of these are. Pretty cool here. Um, next up we have, boom, this is one pretty cool. So this is a, obviously you guys can see it is a, um, a signature series. Um, it's actually double signed, which is kind of cool. So Justice League of America, number 31 from 1989. Um, it's double signed. It's signed by Adam Hughes and Joe Rubenstein. So this is an Adam Hughes cover. Um, and then a uh, Joe Rubenstein um, art as well. So um, double signed book. This was a uh, another mystery grab kind of a grand prize win type of thing. So hey, another 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 cool win there. A double signed book by both uh, Adam Hughes and Rubenstein is uh, hard to argue with, right? So um, this one, next up one, we'll go through this one pretty quick. Nothing too special about this one. This was just a random random grab, not a a super huge uh, win by any means, I wouldn't say, but Amazing Fantasy number one from 2021 uh, in a 9.4. So, not bad. Cool. Always cool to get a slab. So, like sometimes you win, so you don't you don't always win the uh, the giant grand prize. Sometimes you get something else. So this one, uh, this next one was from the same um, uh, same ones of the Amazing Fantasy. I I, I end up getting two. Um, these were forty dollars a pop, maybe something like that, um, for a mystery grab. But this one's kind of a cool. So this is Extreme Carnage Phage, uh, number one variant. And if I remember right, so it's a wraparound cover. You can see that. Um, I think this is the one in fifty and a nine point eight. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's a pretty cool get. Sorry about the glare, guys. It's so it's so bright out here. Um, it's a little bit better. Um, 
So very cool. That was a cool get. Was happy to get that. Um, can never argue with a one in fifty, right? Um, next up, this one was pretty cool. Um, this was a, a nice win here, so you guys can see this. This is Star Wars Adventures: The Clone Wars number four, um, in a nine point eight. Um, so it's a Virgin, the Virgin Milton variant cover, um, and it's actually signed and sketched by uh, Mel Milton on the cover. This, so this is the Battle Tales, the Virgin cover, Scott's Collectibles, KRS Comics, and Black Flags, Black Flags Comics exclusive. So that's a mouthful there. But um, you guys can kind of see there. So that is a sketch right there. of Darth Maul's sketch there and uh, the signature right there. So uh, there we go. It's a little bit better. You guys can kind of see that a little bit better. Um, pretty cool stuff. Yoda and Darth Maul kind of going at it. So this was an awesome win. I was super stoked to get that. But sketch covers are so uh, so cool to, to be able to, to have in the, in the PC. And CGC sketch covers are always nice. And a 9.8, hard to argue with, with that one. And the next few ones are kind of cool too. So this is a bit of a bigger book. Scored this. This is uh, Captain America, number 117. Obviously, yes, this is the first appearance of Falk, Sam Wilson or the Falcon. Um, it's only in a 3.0, but um, this was a um, a, uh, a mystery bag win. Um, so uh, hard to argue with that, right? I mean, 3.0, lower grade, but still kind of cool to have it graded and uh, and still in the, in, the, in the PC there for a pretty iconic first appearance, I would say. Only uh, three more here, guys. We'll get through them pretty quick. This one's pretty cool. Um, uh, this is Spider-Man number 12 from 2017. Um, kind of the cover of um, Spider-Gwen and Miles Morales kind of kissing. So I think this is the first time they may have been kiss kissed. They may have kissed each other, sorry. Um, especially on the cover. Surprising it has a bit of value to it, guys. Like, um, obviously nothing up here saying denoting that's a big uh, a big key book but has value even in a 9.6 has some surprise i was surprised looking checking it out um d does carry some value so it was cool that was a cool get obviously ending miles right now and uh spider gwen is is super heating up and uh always popular so that's a pretty cool get this next one also pretty darn cool um especially with the um uh kind of the heat coming up on it. So there we go. We got a, a Canto um, and the Clockwork Fairies. Um, this doesn't have an, a number, an issue number. Yeah, no, it's just the, I'm, it might just be a one shot. So, um, but this IDW convention exclusive, um, I actually think this was at the San Diego Comic-Con. Um, I could be wrong, uh, double check me, but it's at least the IDW convention exclusive. So um, I don't know if that was just at the an ID, IDW convention or it was at San Diego Comic Con. What I could see, this is also the San Diego Comic Con cover. So, and it's double signed, signed by uh, David Boer and Drew Zucker. So both signatures right there and there. Um, uh, Mr. Boer did the story, and uh, Drew Zucker did the cover and the art. So that's on a nine point eight. That is a pretty good win. Um, very happy with that. Um, haven't read much of the Canto stuff, so anyone out there, let me know what it's about. If it's a good read or not, it's what you guys, uh, what's the character all about? Um, kind of, it kind of reminds me of like a video game style character, um, but I don't know much. So, and the last book, which I think is the most interesting and the one I might need some help from you guys with, only because I don't know anything about this, but it's pretty cool. So, here it is. Can you guys see that? There we go. Yeah. So... Uh, Yule's Vision, number one. Um, so this is the Peach Momoko Linen Edition uh, cover um, in a 9.9 .9 CBCS um, label there. So um, 64 out of 100 on the, on the corner there. So pretty rare. From what I could find, I couldn't find much on this book, guys. I um, uh, could only find that um, I think it's a Kickstarter book is what I could find. Um, but I don't know much else about that. But this one is double signed. So it's not only a 9.9 um, rare book, but it's actually double signed by Peach Momoko and 
uh, Jacob Stem. So the story is Jacob Stem, and obviously Peach Momoko is the cover artist. And obviously Peach Momoko is uh, is pretty popular right now. People uh, love her work, so um, pretty cool stuff. So what I was wondering about this one, sorry, a little um, word vomit there. Uh, what I was wondering about this one is if anyone else out there knows anything about this, because I couldn't find too much about it, but I'm very curious um, uh, as to... Uh, what this book is about, and then having a 9.9, and that's the only 9.9 I have in my my collection, even CBCS. So, and they have it double signed, um, and one of the guys' signatures be Peach Momoko, and it seems to be a rare book. I couldn't find much on it. So, if anyone out there knows much about it, please let me know. Um, kind of throwing it out there to you guys to help us um, kind of track down what um, this book is all about. That would be cool to to sort through. So, that is all I have for you guys. Sorry, it kind of dragged on there, but. Um, I just want to show you guys what I picked up, and I picked up other stuff too. Like this, but this is like, don't think I got this all in like the last week by any means. This is a a few months worth of of stuff, um, uh, and I definitely slowed down on the whatnot stuff um, just because it kind of got a little crazy there at the beginning. So, and this is kind of proof of that how it got like a little crazy at the at the start there. But um, yeah, if you guys could help me out, let me know, direct me uh, as to. Um, on that last book and then just let me know what you think like comment subscribe guys um, hit the bell notification because uh, excuse me I think sometimes uh, YouTube doesn't always notify right away that we put out a new video so if you guys like what you see um, please um, think about just supporting us just by throwing a comment in there a comment a like and a subscribe it would be so so helpful we appreciate it so much um, other than that um, uh, check out our Instagram as well, guys. Follow us on Instagram. Check us out there. Um, we, we do make posts and, uh, you know, kind of links to the, these videos. So check us out there. Um, and, yeah, I think that's it. So um, with that being said, uh, stay safe out there. Be kind to one another. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.